Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we managed to drive a fairly big wedge into the central landmass and take a couple of cities, which is good because now that we've done that, we've also broken up a fairly decent sized alliance and now we just have to fight the outliers, which there are many of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities, some of which are under control by the same people, some of which are not, and also apparently they're attacking uh, this guy here, so we'll have to see what happens there. Either way, we also um, were we were messing around with the ATGPs, and they're better. They're better than the original Ishtis, but uh, still not fantastic. However, we did make, if I just go to a build landship, we did make the Mini Tetrarch, or Mini Tet, there we go. And I'm going to build several of them because I want to try them out. However, I'm going to build them here, and then assault down the bottom because we've then got two places to use them. Whereas if we only build them here, we've only... Actually, no, we've still got two places to attack, but we've already seen what the, uh, the ground stuff is like here, so... Yes, we'll build them up on the uh, left-hand side. The problem we have is that the the shipyard is small, so it takes quite a while to build because these are actually quite expensive. I probably need to just check the defences on here and make sure that they are, yes, they are in need of repair. There we go. It's going to take a little bit to uh, get those sorted. Obviously, we've just taken this uh, city there. Let's just go to uh, build a land ship and get the mini tets. We probably want about 10. 10 would be nice, although if we manage about 6 to 8, that should be acceptable. I'm just going to go ahead, keep repairing the uh, defences in here, and keep building the mini tets, and then I guess what we'll have to do is go for an assault down here, although there, there are bees, the giant bees there, so what I'll probably end up doing, let me just uh, repair, I can't repair that one, but I will scrap that one. Um, yes, yeah, so I will scrap it because it's fairly broken. I repair that one. Yeah, what I'll probably end up doing is moving, moving these, moving these bot flies over. Um, if we select them, will they be able to move, or is it? I always get it the wrong way around. Yeah, we have to go the other way, so we'll have to select everything but. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and move to there and that should just be the yes the bot flies which is basically the sort of scatter shot approach you've got some rifles and some um got some rifles and some grape shot cannons which are good for taking out um the flies actually i don't know if the grape shot cannons can shoot flies i assume they can either way the rifles do the job quite well so again build land ship here just going to build up these mini tetrarchs get them built and then go down probably to attack the bees first because you get loads of money for that obviously when we attack the bees over where was it or over there um, looks like they're trying to sabotage that one yes um the uh the bees were here uh, or was it there i think it might be in that one there either way we attacked the bees and it was quite a difficult fight when you consider just how bad it could have gone the bees didn't manage to take they didn't manage to take the um the vessel that they're boarded. Obviously, they wouldn't be able to crew it, or at least I assume that they can't crew it. I don't think they can. Um, and then, once that was all said and done, we spent ages just shooting the hive, which apparently takes ages, and I didn't realise uh, just how long it uh, would take to destroy that. So we've got a total of one, two, three, four of these now, so we'll keep building them. Like I say, I want to build probably about six to eight is is uh, probably the decent number. And then we'll attack the bees, and then we'll get some money, and then we'll be able to um, build other things. In terms of defences here, you can see we have got a couple of defences. Um, that needs repairing, and that needs repairing. Actually, what I might do is I'm going to scrap that one at the back, because I just don't think it's uh, of any great use. And I'll move this one back there. Actually, ideally, that one wants to be moved forward, because that's got that one has got... Uh, yeah, that one's got rockets, where these have got cannons, which are better for the range, so not that it matters too much. Yeah, so I've just scrapped the other one. We don't need four big defences, but I really don't think we need need those, but I'll repair the I'll repair the last one, so we at least got three. In terms of money, it's not coming in stupidly fast now because of just how much we've got lying about. In fact, uh, we might even get rid of these at -ishtis. Let's have a look at the defences. Defences are uh, not fantastic, although there's nothing that can really assault me. Um, what I might do is just scrap these 
Um, I'll just scrap them because they're just taking up a lot of money. And as you can see, scrapping them has just gained us a lot of money um, per turn. I'm going to scrap another one of those as well. There we go. That should do us quite nicely. And then finally, build landship. One more of these mini tets, and then that should be us done. We'll also wait for about 1,400, which I think it was about. There we go. That should be fine. And then we'll repair this defensive structure. There we are. Okay. So it means that these can move down to there if need be. In terms of the two cities here, if we go to view city, you can see they've got a flyer, but it's a melee flyer. And one walker that's currently trying to do a limbo on a tree. And then we've got one, two, three, four defences. Not, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it keeps going, defences. But all of them are quite small. But that doesn't really mean anything because when you add up all the guns, it's, well, it's quite a bit. So we'll have to think about that attack there. This one is probably, oh, that's even less defended. Look at that. So we've got the advantage here and the can't read it because it's I don't know that's glitched out um, and we've got one two three four cannons rifles on either side don't know if it's got a bomb here I don't think it will have actually no I don't know don't know about that one and uh, one tiny little tiny little teeny weeny incy uh, defensive structure so I'm not gonna worry too much about that one right let's attack the giant bees and let's see how this one goes so first first time we've used the mini tets in anger and we are attacking bees again now these Tets should be a little bit better than the. It should be just a little bit better than the 80 ish tees because they're. They're, um, they're lower. That's the main thing. That The problem we had on the big walk is that the gun was so high that they didn't have the gun depression to shoot anything under about that level there, which meant if anything wanted to be hidden, it just went down and they couldn't do anything. I mean, they did have a gun on the front, which was working out, but uh, anyway. So we'll land there and immediately bees are coming out and uh, straight away you can hear the sound of the bees, which is never good. We're going to back up straight away there. Um, now, we do have some rifle shots going out, which they ha are hitting the bees. However, they're going to board the mini tets straight away and they're just going to be able to take that out without any real problem at all because we just don't have any uh, defences there. So this is going to be taken straight away. I could abandon ship, but I'm, I'm just going to... Um, well, I'm just going to wait for everything to be taken out. Yeah, you can hear the slicing and dicing, and um, yeah, that's uh, there's that taken out. No, no, there's still some more stuff getting taken, and oh, there's the bees coming out again. Um, need to move the bees, uh, sorry, move the uh, move the grape shot things down, because, well, we really wanted them to shoot the bees, but that's not happening. Um, that is now under control again, strangely. I don't know why. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to say fine and move on. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to start transferring some crew between these different vessels, um, because I want to recrew it, you see. Uh, I don't think these have any defences on them. No, they don't. They don't. I'm going to move that one down because I want them to shoot the bees with the rifles, you see. Although I don't think there's any way to command that. Can I move crew? Transfer crew? I do not have the option to transfer crew, which is a shame. I don't know why. Um, you can hear the bees again there. Uh, I don't know where they're going. Oh, they're going in here now. Fair enough. How's the shots going over there? Well, they are hitting the hive, but the hive is massive. So it does take quite... A while for that to uh, sort out. Why can't we transfer crew? I don't know if we can. I'd like to say transfer crew to there, but what's probably going to happen is they'll jump out and then get stuck because, you know, that is just generally their lot in life. Uh, I'm going to say target and target that. Uh, can I target that? I can't specifically target the bees, no. Um, the bees are slowly, very, very slowly being taken out. Being taken out. <laughs> because. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so, um, once that's done, we should be able to just sit here, really, and take out the hive. I'm going to put them all on aimed fire because I'm very, I'm very conscious of the ammo we're using, which at the moment is only about, probably about a third. We've only used about, no, we've only used a quarter of our um, ammo on each of these, so that's fine. They do seem to be working out quite well. I mean, the shots are good. The shots are hitting. Obviously, the grape shots are not. I'm going to get that right up close because I might as well. This one, I still can command because it's yeah, it's actually finished now. That's good. That's fine. So, I'm going to bring these... Oh, hang on. That's wrong. Um, it's just lost all coal, I think. 
Actually, what you know what's probably happened? It's lost so much crew. Oh, we can't crew it. Right. This is something that we don't often... We probably often experience, but don't often see. This is a vessel here. I'm just going to pause it. That has only got one crew member, as far as I can tell. Yes, it has. And... Oh, we've won anyway. Yeah, we've taken that out. Okay. Well, yeah, what's happened here is we've lost all but one crew. So that one crew member is having to do the full... It's going to have to do the work of a full crew. Or is it actually, is the one there? There might be more than one. Either way, there's very few crew are left on it. Um, in fact, it says three crew. Right, fine. We now know. But they're having to man the guns. They're having to fill up the suspendium tank with coal. They're having to run the engine. And everything else. So that's why it fell out the sky, probably. It just didn't have the people to fill it up with coal. And there's six grand, because um, that's good. Uh, that's what we got. Let's go back over to Guildfield and go to build land ships. And again, we're going to build a mini tet. The problem with the mini tets is that, although they're quite small, um, they still have a footprint, which it means that we can only f physically fit so many on the base at any one time. I should go to build ship, and I probably want to build, what do I want to build? Bombard is always useful, the ant was garbage, the generic carrier, we can't build, and the lank was terrible as well. We haven't really made a proper carrier yet, and let's just see, so a view city, so looking at all of this, the best thing to take out all of these I think would be essentially a siege ship we've got we've got a bombard that's fine we've got the flying pigs flying pigs would be perfect in this scenario because it would lots of torpedoes um but to be fair i tend to use torpedoes for every solution you know you want to make a beverage yeah torpedoes hmm i've got a siege castle torpedoes you know taking out a bingo torpedoes you get the idea um but i think what we'll have to do is build something with more torpedoes. No, no, we can't build more torpedoes. Uh, we want to have... Oh, we've just got... That's computers on there. If we take that, we get computers. Excellent. Um, we've got rockets now, which could be useful. I don't know if I really want to make a, a rocket ship per se. Let's go to design ship and see what we have in terms of weapons. I always build it around the weapons. Um, that's good. That heavy. I do like that one. And the heavy cannon is always... Uh, good as well. Imperial cannon. I don't know what the difference is between the two. So heavy cannon. It's uh, let's have a quick look. at maximum accurate range is 2,500 meters. Wow. What's the imperial cannon? 900 meters. The damage on the imperial cannon is 150 piercing damage, whereas the imperial cannon is 400. Okay. It's also a lot shorter range and fires off oh, two ammo per shot as well, so it just fires less. What about the heavy turret? Heavy turret is slightly less accurate, but has a bigger arc of fire. That's understandable. We've also got a massive rocket now, which has made me think that we should probably utilize that technology um, in certain sieging applications. So how we're going to do this? Well, I think we will make ourselves a vessel that has um, one there, two... Uh, do I want to make the Dark Knife? I do want to make the Dark Knife. By the way, for for those who are not <laughs> familiar with what the Dark Knife is, in Babylon 5, the, uh, the TV show that has probably not been seen by people this decade, um, there's a there's a vessel in there from uh, one of the ancient ones. Um, I'm not going to start going into the whole history of B5 because, quite frankly, I'll be talking at you for many a moon. But basically, it's um, a vessel that is uh, it's an ancient one. It's it's not like a it's like it's not one of what you would call like the uh, the young races, so like humans and um, all the such people and uh, whatnot. It's uh, it's quite old, um, many 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 years old. Don't really know how old it is, but either way, it lo it's shaped like a knife. That's all I'm trying to get to. It's a big tall type thing that it, it's not actually a knife is it it's more of a boomerang it should be called the dark boomerang i mean the dark bit's correct because it is actually uh very like shiny black so uh yeah anyway I, i'll just get back to designing the vehicle so yeah we've got these rockets here and then what we'll do is i've, I've i haven't put the I haven't put the walkways further forward, but I probably should. I'm using fire doors here because, obviously, if one of these goes up, then, well, it's all kind of over. This is probably going to be a fairly expensive vessel. If we can... I mean, I'm not going to 
say what we should really aim for because quite frankly I don't care how expensive it is. Um, it's just going to be, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is and that's what we'll have. So we'll have the ammo like so and then what we can do is put the fire doors um, around them you see and then we'll have at least decent protection there although maybe it's overdoing it somewhat doing like doing that I mean it really is overdoing it isn't it um, I mean explosion damage is still gonna be the same shall I check the explosion damage the radius overlays explosion damage Oh yeah, that's going to all kinds of blow up. Right, what I'm going to do instead is pull these back over. And that means a fairly big redesign of vessel, but that's okay. You know what, let me just let me just get rid of all of these fire doors, because quite frankly, they're just making it heavier. And we don't need heavy for something that really wants to fly. Dumbo taught us that. So, let's get rid of that and that. And... Right, so I will put the ammo stars... Two back, so two, 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 and two. Is that right? No, it's not right. Now it is correct. There we are. Okay, so how do I want to connect all these up? Let's just get rid of the fire doors so we know where we're working at. Well, some of these will be required, so those required, those required. There's all of the minimum amount of fire doors. Actually, we could probably take that one off there. So there's our minimum amount of fire doors. So we can connect it up like so. Like that. And like that. And like that. Yep, that's accessible. And what I'll do is have um, just probably the spaces around there. Uh, structural and that. Oh, we could have a stained glass window. <laughs> That's actually not... I mean, it is terrible. But... No, 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 we can't have that. We'll have struts. Um, what's the difference between... Uh, we've got struts and decks and steel deck. Struts, then. So, struts all the way around. Like that. I mean, it singles out where the ammo is, but, you know, the computer won't be able to be targeted. It can't target that, can it? There we go. Okay, so there's the there's the ammo. Um, we will have a walkway top and bottom, and then, quite frankly, we're just going to have it jut out a little bit more, and then it'll go right back in. It's actually less of a knife now, more of a, like, knuckle dustery type thing. But this is what we're going with. So, uh, there's our connections, there's our connections all the way here. Um... Connected up there. I'm using fire doors again. I don't need to use fire doors on these ones. The whole point is that we just wanted fire doors on the front section. Like that. Right. And we can use standard corridor with ladders. We could probably use corridor. Is there a big difference between corridor? Yeah, there's a big difference between corridor and corridor with ladder. So these can just have corridor, you see, going to there. Actually be efficient for once. Wow, this is a first, isn't it? Corridor with ladder. Go over the ladder. And there we go. And there's all the connections. Right. So, that's fine. We now need a way to keep this thing in the air, which is always useful. We also need a way to have it um, move, which again is very, very useful. In terms of the... In terms of the lift, then, we've got large suspendium dust tanks, which we could utilise. We could just put them on our, the, uh, the caps. Oh, that would be cool. If we did, like, put the caps on the back like that. Um, that would give us a service ceiling, just them, of 70, uh, uh sorry, uh, uh, 57 meters. That's good, because then these will be all on the back there, and one, two, three, four. Obviously, we'll have some suspendium chambers in as well, but that would look really cool. I am sort of thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Is it, though? <laughs> Suspendium dust tanks. I mean, we could just use dust tanks. I mean, it makes it completely different from anything else we've really made. If it just uses dust tanks. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. 
just just to say that we've at least give it a go. Okay, so let's just put all of the other stuff in that we are totally missing out. So, in terms of fire point, we want at least a couple of these. So I'll have one in, um, one there, one there. That should have decent access. Uh, machine shop. I mean, we're just gonna have to probably put these in wherever we can. There we go. There's machine shops in. Two of. Probably don't need two, but we're having two. God, sales on the top. <laughs> um. Someone has said make a galleon. Uh, yeah, I think at some point we're really gonna have to, aren't we? So. There's that bit there. We've got no troops. One there and one there. Although, are we just completely overdoing it? No, actually, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Um, although, access is a problem. Steel cargo door there and there. Yep, that's fine. And now, probably best to have something where we can give it commands and move the ship. So... I'll put it right in the center, I think. We'll have it there. We'll have a sick bear. And then we'll have... Oh, do we want a telescope? We probably do. Get rid of that. Have a telescope. And just above that crow's nest. There we go. More accurate, more better. And then we want some quarters. One, two, three, four... Five, six. How many does it say? Recommended crew, 51. Actual crew, 72. When you consider the other stuff we're going to put in, that is probably... Okay, or slightly reduced structural integrity due to its size. Okay, we need a keel then. Um, will that be in structural? Small keel. I thought these increased structural integrity. That says reinforce the ship. Large keel. That would work. Although, do we want a large keel? Or do we want two, two or three small keels? I think you can put keels anywhere, can't you? It's a lovely word, that, isn't it? Keel. Um, no, I'm just going to have a large keel on the bottom, then. Like so. Probably going to have to have another one. But we'll see. Um, I could actually put a keel on the top. Do that and that. Then you get rid of that. You put one there. Yeah, why not? There we go. And then that's... Let me know it's alright. Mm, great deal of structural integrity. Increases ship HP by a thousand. Wow, okay. Right, so there's those in. It's already... Ugh, good, it can't even move. Right, okay, so propulsion. We want to have a... Large propeller? Kind of a large propeller. Sails, we could have sails. Oh, that looks ace! Like that. But then I'm guessing we can't have anything behind it. Um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? I'm just clicking here. Lift. You can have stuff behind it. Doesn't make much sense, but you can have it behind it. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those in there. Because they were just going to go... The bits were just going to go around here. Ship too heavy to fly. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, Lord, they do fit in very well there. Right. There we go. So there's that. We just need to make this thing fly now. Could have pressurised suspendium dust tanks. Otherwise known as a real problem. Because your ship just explodes. So one there. One there. One there, one there, and one there. No. What if we just get rid of the gaps? Would be able to fit one in. Put it right on the back like that. Not going to fit any more in, are we? No. Although we would be able to then f put some... No, I don't think that's not working out. That's not working out. There's those. And the cap. 
that would give us not a great deal of lift. Uh, service ceiling 38. No, it's not long enough. Hmm, it looks silly. But we sort of knew this was going to be the case anyway. Can't put anyone on the front. And we can't use these little we could use these little ones. So the large suspendium dust tank. Let's try that. Let's try and get rid of these large ones. I'm putting uh, these in. So one there, one there, one there. I'm just trying the spacing here. And too large. That's more what I was going for. That sort of swept back. Right. Then these. One, two, three. Right. And then these. And it looks like it's flying backwards. Service ceiling 45 meters. That's enough to keep it in the air. Yeah, I like the... It does look like a spaceship. <laughs> uh, in terms of armor, it's just wooden armor. I mean, if I try and put anything else on, it's just going to fall completely out the sky. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, wooden armor, then, is, is the way forward. But that's what it looks like. It looks really weird. Okay, well, we'll stick with that one. In terms of decoration, it's not getting any, quite frankly, because there's no way at all that this thing will be able to take any decoration, because it'll just be too heavy. We will not put anything like that on. We'll put a wooden nameplate on the bottom. It's called the Unhealthy, apparently. Um, we'll put a... Do you want a round lot? Do you want fire? Flames? No. Meteor? Large mouth? No, I think flames... Yeah, we'll put a bit of decoration on, put the flames like that. Okay, there we are. So, that is version one of whatever we're going to call this thing, speaking of which. It's a... Uh... What is it? Watch that sort of shape. Sort of like a hand. Um... Don't know. Reminds me of something of Star Wars, but I don't know what that would be. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave the episode there. What do you think we should call it? <laughs> to be fair, by the time it's commented, I've already named it. But uh, yeah, what do you think? Have a guess what you think we should... Uh, what we reckon we should call this thing. Also, just put suggestions, because I'd like to read and see what, uh, what you think on that one. But... Yeah, going to leave it there for this episode. Next episode, I'll have a name for it, and uh, we'll see what it's like. I am guessing not great. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.